Welcome everybody to TechCraft, this is Rob, and in today's video I'm going to talk you through how to set up the Nest camera on your Hoobs box. Let's go. So I'm completely overhauling my Hoobs configuration. I've reflashed my Hoobs 4 box. See the video above if you want to do that as well. And I'm just slowly working through plugin by plugin, uh, reconfiguring the whole thing. I'm going to film every plugin that I do so we can kind of refresh all the tutorials. So if that's your kind of thing, do hit subscribe and maybe hit the bell as well so you don't miss out. Let's dive straight in to see how the Nest camera and the Nest doorbell work. So first thing to note is I'm using the Hoobs desktop app to manage my, my Hoobs box. And you can use the browser if you want, but I actually do find the desktop app to be quite a bit nicer. And this is a completely empty install. So I'm gonna start by installing the Nest plugin. So we'll go to the search here, type in Nest, not Nost, Nest. And there are two plugins. And for today's video, we're gonna just focus on the camera one. I am gonna do the thermostat and the protect one next. So click on the Nest cam, click install. The first decision here is to whether or not you want to create a dedicated bridge for each plugin or whether you want to share one bridge or maybe a, a small handful of bridges between all your plugins. My recommendation is to use one bridge per plugin. Each bridge gets its own memory, gets its own process. They're all isolated. So it's a much nicer approach. Let's dive back in. So I'm going to stick, as I said, to using a bridge dedicated to this plugin. So I'll click install and we're using the add bridge option. This just takes a few minutes. Once that's done, the configuration button will show up in the side here, and we're just going to click on that. And the first thing you need to do is link your Nest account. This used to be really difficult on Hoobs 3, and my video on that wasn't fantastic. Thankfully, it's much simpler now, and hopefully this video will be much better. So we'll click on the link account button. Uh, you have to wait for the bridge to start, so click OK. And what we'll do is we'll come to uh, Log, and we'll see that it says Starting, and we'll just wait for that to say Started. Right, so now this shows up as started and we can go back to the plugins page, come into Nest Cam Bridge, come back to Nest Cam, go to configuration. So to link accounts, we'll just start by clicking on the link account button, it pops this window and then I'm going to click login. I need to use my Google account details to log in to Nest. Now, if you don't get a pop-up window at this point and you're using the browser rather than the Hoobs desktop app, it's because your browser has blocked pop-up windows in the address bar, there'll be a little icon, depending which browser you've got, there'll be a little icon you can press to allow that pop-up to show and you can make the same progress as we're about to do. Okay, so I'm gonna log in with my Google account. I'm gonna allow Nest access to my Google account, press allow, and I'm gonna copy this code. Yours will be different. Uh, and then we're gonna paste it into this uh, access code box here in the Hoobs app and press complete setup. And that's everything to link your account for, for Hoobs and Nest together really easy. So once your account is linked, all you need to do now is link the Nest Cam bridge from, from Hoobs to your home app, and we'll do that right now. So come back to Hoobs, go to the bridges page, and you can see the QR code here for the Nest Cam bridge. I'm just going to take my phone and press Add Accessory, and then I'm going to scan that. Fantastic. Press Add to Home. Uh, these are all uncertified accessories because we're using the Hoobs bridge. Uh, it's fine to add anyway and let that do its thing. You can say where the, the bridge is, it doesn't really matter, it's not in my bedroom, press continue. And there we go, that bridge has been added. And now I'm able to start adding in the different devices that are linked to my Nest account. I only have one Nest camera, which is my front doorbell. So I'm just gonna press continue. Where is that? That's in the entrance. I think it does matter where you say these devices are, the bridge not so much. Let's press continue. Uh, I'm going to call it front door, fantastic, and then it's done. So now we can see in my TechCraft dummy house, there's my front doorbell. It's quite dark here in the evening, so you can't really see much. I want to show you a few things, though. Um, if you press on the switches, long press, up pop these four switches, you can actually disable the streaming. You can disable announcements if you've got that linked in your Nest account. I think that's a four-fee thing, so it doesn't work on mine. I haven't paid the money for that. But I can also turn on the front door audio, and you can turn off the doorbell as well, which is quite nice if you don't want to be disturbed. So I'll just maybe turn off the streaming and then click done. Um, and in a few seconds, that will sort of disappear. So there's my camera turned off, and I just want to point out something. Uh, when you do this, it turns off the streaming for everybody. It's not just disabling the streaming to this device, so even your Nest app won't work. And I want to show you a, a little bug here that, that might frustrate you. You'll see here it says only three switches on now. If I long press on that, the switch for the streaming has disappeared. I don't really know why this is, but it's quite frustrating if you then can't figure out how to turn your camera back on. Let me show you how. If you then go into the camera itself, 
press on the four squares icon in the bottom right corner the switch appears there you can turn it back on and then in a few seconds your camera will start streaming again so that's everything there is to enabling your nest camera doorbell inside apple home once you've got a hoops box it's really simple i hope you found this video useful if so please hit like please hit subscribe maybe hit that bell as well because there are lots more of these coming thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video